Hey guys, this is Bolo and today in this video I will show how you can create this kind of visual effects video using Adobe After Effects and Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I got this video from Pixels download link in the description if you want to use the same. So here you can see this got some camera movements and our camera is not steady. So in this kind of stages where you want to place 3D objects first we need to track the footage. So for that let's select footage from this timeline go to this window and enable this tracker options. So here you get the tracker options here. So being selected our footage just click on this track camera. So it will track the footage and gives us some tracking points when it is done. So here our tracking is done and we got some track points here. So first of all come to this advanced options expand this one and look for this average error value here average error is 0.64 pixels which is good anything less than one pixels is fine if you got this error value more just click on this detailed analysis option it will track the footage once again which may reduce the error value so for this tutorial 0.64 is okay so now let's select the trackers here so hold left mouse click and let's select the track points here so here i want to add our camera and solid so now right click select this create solid and camera so here you can see we got some track solid created here so let's rotate this one so press r for rotation options let's rotate it in z axis and also if you want to increase the scaling press s and let's increase the scaling here so now if i play this you can see our track solid is staying in its position along with the camera movements nice so now we need to export this tracking data into blender so for that we will be using scripts so i will leave a link in the description on how to download and install those scripts or else you can click on the icard above so let's select this track solid and camera go to this file options scripts and select this export composition data to json so it will ask for the location so select the location whichever you like so i will save this as 7777 and save and export so now you can close after effects so i'll close this one so now open blender so here i'm using 4.2.3 version so let's delete this default scene by pressing a on the keyboard and delete so now we need to import the tracking data so further go to this file options import and select this after effects composition data and look at the file so here i got that file and import a so here we got the camera and we got the track solid so if i press zero on the keyboard and first of all let me show you so here we got the keyframes right so after effect starts from zero frame whereas blender starts from one frame so we need to move one frame backward so press a on the keyboard on timeline to select all the keyframes press a g and move one frame backward so first thing we need to do this one and now if i press zero on the keyboard you can see we got our track solid and the movement is okay and let's adjust these end frames so i think total frames is yeah, i think 310 so let's change this to 310 nice so now let's add our footage so select the camera come to this camera icon here click on this camera properties enable this background images expand this one add image since we are using movie clip change this to movie clip open and locate the file so here i got the file and open clip you can see we got the footage now scroll down and change the opacity to one so now if i play this you can see we got our track solid along with the footage nice so now let's place this track solid onto the grid here it will be easy for us if we want to add any 3d objects so let's do that so we can't directly select this and we can we can't move them since it got keyframes it will mess up our tracking data so instead of that let's select the camera here we need to bring this cursor point onto the camera first so shift s and select this cursor to select it you can see we got the cursor point here now let's add an empty so shift a or else you can go to this add empty select plane axis you can select any of the empty you like so let's increase the scaling so now first we need to select the tracking data of our camera so here you can see this axis right we got the tracking data in that axis so select the axis of camera now hold shift key and select the empty here now control p p for pen and select this object keep transform option so in the same way let's select this track solid here and hold shift key and select this empty now control p and select this object keep transform so now we can move the entire scene using this empty so let's select the empty here press one on the keyboard for front view and 
let's bring this solid on to the plane here let's rotate this change this to rotation and let's rotate this here now press 3 for side view so i think this will be fine now press 7 for top view and also let's rotate here exactly now press a g and bring this solid here now g z make sure we need to place this above to the grid here so i think yeah this much is fine okay so now press zero once again so now if i play this you can see we got our stack solid along with the footage and our tracking data is not messed up so now we can add any 3d elements onto this scene so before do that let's select this track solid change it to edit mode changes to edge selection let's select this edge here and let's move it here like this now let's select this edge here z and move it in this way okay so now let's bring 3d objects into the scene here before do that let me save the project Control s so now let's import our 3d objects into the scene before do that let's bring this cursor point onto the world axis so shift s hold shift and s and select this cursor to world origin okay so now let's add 3d objects so here i will be using this blender kit to get the models so here i will search as mug so here I will use this paper cup here simply click on the object and it will be loaded and by the way blender kit is free to download so here we got the models right so right click select objects let's increase the scaling so I think this much is fine and let's bring it here so here I think this is parented to empty so it got the parent if I move okay it is parented to empty so let's delete the parent so select the empty here alt p clear transform now you can select this paper cup alt p select this clear and keep transform so let's delete the empty now okay so we got rid of the empty so press zero to see through camera so i think here we got the model so i think this is fine so now let's place this randomly so press zero seven for top view so here camera is so let's place it here and let's rotate this a bit and also let's rotate this like this okay so here let's add rigid body physics onto this mug so that it falls using the physics so select this paper mug come to this physics property add rigid body so type let it be active and shape change it to mesh surface response friction let it be 0.5 sensitivity change this margin value to 0 0.01 so i think this is fine so now if i play this you can see the object is falling down but it is not interacting with the plane so let's select the plane here rigid body so change the type to passive and shape let it be convex cell and sensitive margin let's change this to 0 0.01 so now if i play this you can see the cup is interacting with this solid but it is acting weirdly so first of all let's apply the scaling transform so if i select this mug and if i press on the keyboard you can see the scaling is 22 meters so we need to make it one so let's select this model go to this object apply apply scale option now you can see it is turned to one now press n to hide it out and if i play this now once again still you can see it is acting weirdly so the reason is this origin point so let's change the origin point to center so being selected this object go to this object set origin origin to geometry so now let's play this once again and say so still it is acting weirdly i think so still it is acting weirdly so let's select this object once again and shape let's let me change this to convex cell and let's shift this okay so now this is working good so you need to play with the value of or option of this shape value if mesh is not working out change it to convex cell it will work okay nice so here i don't want this object to fall from the starting frame so i want to make it stay for few seconds in air mid air so for that let's select this object so here we got this dynamic option right uncheck this one disable this one so now if i play this the object will not fall down so i think after 40 frames i want this to fall down so be at this 48 frame add a keyframe okay so this dynamic option is disabled and we have added a keyframe now move one frame forward that is 41 frame now enable this dynamic option and add a keyframe 
So now if I play this till 48th frame it will stay in that position and later it will fall nice. So now let's duplicate this object and place it randomly here. So press 7 for top view. So being selected this object, Shift D, let's place it here and I will rotate this randomly, Shift D. So here I have duplicated these objects and placed it at random positions. So press 0 to see through camera and now if I play this, you can see we got all the objects near and later they are falling down nice this is looking good so now let's move on to this render viewport here so let's move on to this render viewport so here the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene here i will be using hdrs to light this scene up so come to this world properties click on this yellow dot here and add environment texture and by the way here i have downloaded a few hdrs from poly heaven so let's load them one so open so here i will use this hdri so select the hdri and open image so you can see we got some light in the scene so we need to make it transparent so come to this render properties scroll down come to this film option and enable this transparent option so now we got some light in the scene so being in render settings enable this ray tracing option and let's expand this first g approximate and method change it to ambient occlusion okay so now we got these objects floating in air and later falling down nice so now we need to hide out this plane so select the plane here change this render in gento cycles and device change it to gpu compute so now being selected this plane come to this object properties here scroll down come to this visibility option and make it as shadow catcher so now you can see we are not getting that plane visible here we are getting the shadows also so I think I need to move this one, this one and this object aside. So I'll select those one, come to the starting frame and let's bring them side here. Okay. So now if I play this once again, we got those objects floating and later they are falling on the ground. Okay, nice. So let's come to this render setting once again, scroll down, come to this color management and view transform, change it to standard. And if you want to add big contrast, change this look. I think medium high contrast will work okay so this is looking good so once this is done come to this output properties click on this output properties here so by default the resolution is set to full HD change this if you want and render enable this render region crop to render region so frame rate we need to change this according to the footage here the footage frame rate is 29.9 something so I will change this frame rate to 29.97 and frame starting and end i think i don't want 310 frames so i want only 140 frames here okay so i'll change this to 140 and output let me choose a location to save the files so here i have saved a location and file format let it be png and make sure this rgb is selected or else we won't get the alpha channel so once this is done just go to this render and click on this render animation before to that we need to bake the simulation so select this cup models come to this scene properties come to this rigid body world so here you can change the speed of the simulation here you can change the simulation so first of all let me bring this to 310 and let's come to the starting frame so let's change this to 0.5 and now if i play this the simulation will be a bit slow you can see the objects are falling a bit slowly so you can change the speed according to your wish so i think i will make this 0.75 and now let's check this once again so i think this much of speed is enough so once the speed is okay come to this catch option and click on this bake option so here the bake is done so once the bake is done come to this output properties once again here we need to change the frame rate right so here i will change this to 200 frames so let's change this to 200 okay so once this is done go to this render and click on this render animation so this will render only the objects here we won't get the video visible so once the sequence is done we need to use any editing software to do the composting so i will show you a single frame so i will go to the static frame here and i will render a single image so before do that let me come to this render properties and samples i will reduce this to 32 and noise threshold i will make it 0.1 these settings are to reduce the render time if you want best quality you can use the maximum number 
so my device can't support much numbers so i will reduce this maximum sample to 32 so now i will render a single image so render and render image so here we got this image rendered so now go to this image so i will save this in png rgb is selected i will save in downloads i think i will save it as cup and save as image so now i will show you how to do compositing so let's close this one save the project now open after effects here i will be using adobe after effects you can use any editing software you like so here i got the footage and i have loaded the single image of our cup model so i will drop it onto this video here so since it is alpha channel you can see we got these models into the footage so here i have rendered single image right so for that reason it is not moving along with the footage so if you have rendered that complete sequence while you drop this onto the footage it will move according to the footage so after that do color correction to match with the footage and render it once again so in this way we can create vfx videos using adobe after effects and blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye